Oh, I was going to do an unboxing, but my camera decided to fall over after I opened it. So technically it's still kind of in an unboxing, but we got something from NAFS and MKM, the collaboration of the G10 Yipper in Magna Cut. Now, if you don't know what Magna Cut is, it's all the rage right now for everything that's out there. Um, MKM is an Italian company, which is awesome. Um, and they did a collaboration with NAFS to make the Yipper. Now, as you know, I have the uh, Lander 1 and Lander 2. So we're going to do quick little unboxing size comparison. Not a full review, but let's see this thing. Ooh, okay. Okay, what's in here? Oh, oh, that's so cool. Okay, I know the knife is cool, but this is this is really cool. I got, I mean, look at this. You got extra Omega Springs and you got a tool. They give you this really cool tool. That's really awesome. And this nice little pouch that's right here. Montia, Maniago Knife Makers, which is absolutely cool. So of course they do all these different knife companies. And they talk a little bit about the knife and so forth. I don't have the specs in front of me, but we will get into that with the full review. Today is just an unboxing. Ooh. Okay. I see what you're doing there. I, I see it. Okay. Let's see. So we got Yipper. What is up, guys? Made in Makita. Makita. Still got the little... Uh, Got that little guy there. Pull that out. Um, okay, that's fine. And we got the Magna Cut, Matiago, Italy. Let's see how it is out of the box. Ooh, not bad. Oh, that's nice. That's really super snappy. So let's let's just do a quick little size comparison. So we got the Lander one right here. And we have the Lander 2 right there. So, yeah, size-wise, it is more in line with the Lander 1. Um, I was going to say, I wonder if the scale the scales could be swapped out. Because I know that's the big thing with the NAS is that you can do the fast swap scales. But then I realized that the screws are here versus here. So, that's, that is a little different. But... Um, yeah, I mean, obviously the blade, you got a little more blade length. It is a tad bit bigger, it looks like, than the Lander 1, just by a little bit. Um, definitely not as big as the Lander 2, but not completely far off. So it's kind of almost like in the middle of the two, which is actually kind of cool. But, um, I mean, it fits in the hand actually really nice. It's... Not as big as I thought it would be this way. Um, the depth, I guess, or the height, the actual height of it. Um, actually got a good amount of Blake stock on there. And then, obviously, this is in Magna Cut. Um, I, I did have one knife in Magna Cut before, and it did not impress me. But I know Italy has been doing a good job with their Magna Cut. So... I am actually really interested. Ooh, that was nice, actually. I mean, right out of the box. That is great. And I think these might be ball bearings. I'm not 100% sure, but we can all, like I said, this is just an unboxing, just to give a general overview of what it looks like. Nice deep carry pocket clip and in the hand. It feels really good. I mean, you know, I got extra large hands and... You know, it's definitely hits the full four finger. This, I don't feel like it's creating a hot spot. If anything, I feel like it helps, especially down here. I feel like it helps kind of, you know, get in there, which is nice. Um, passes the Ben one finger test. And if you don't know what that is, uh, if you go watch old Blade HQ videos, they kind of go over it. Um, this reverse Tonto is giving me, here it is. Yep, it is definitely giving me um, Protect Malibu vibes. Oop, that little plastic thing. 
but obviously without the Protec Malibu size, um, but that's not a big deal. But that reverse Tanto or Tanto or however you want to describe it, I mean, that's, that's really cool. So yeah, this is just, like I said, I, you know, it looks like you got the full liner in there, which is nice. I mean, this is a really well-crafted knife. I mean, it, it feels very, I mean, it's smaller, which is nice, but it feels very solid. I mean, you could make the argument that this is kind of a little more uh, gentlemanly than maybe, you know, especially if we did different, if you, you know, maybe different scales on it, maybe like a, I don't know, like a carbon fiber or, or, you know, just something a little different, you know, for scales. But I mean, the scales aren't bad. It's not like that. I do like the gripping texture on it. Um, so this, the Lander 2 is a little bit smoother, but as you can see, it's, it's kind of hard to tell, but you do got these like ridges on there that do help with the grip but this is let's see if i can get the focus you got some really nice deep grooves in there and it really gives it a nice uh gives it a nice feel axis or I say axis lock the crossbar lock is perfect i mean that that's right out of the box i mean that's just crazy you know no stick, no nothing. That's, <laughs> I, I like I said, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna play around with this because, you know, I really want to give the Magna Cut another chance. I know it's supposed to be great steel, but, you know, I'm I'm excited. I'm also excited for the Lander Three that they uh, they put out there. So, yeah. So um. Let me know if you guys have a Yipper. Let me know if you're interested in getting one. Um, I know they're sold out right now, but uh, I would just say go to NAF's website, hit notify me. They have a little notify me section. I have done that for the, oh my goodness, I cannot remember the name of the fixed blade right now. I could see it in my head, the Lulu, the the, the fixed blade, the, uh, the Lulu. I have, I am waiting, I, I'm so upset I missed the, missed that but i'm waiting for the next run on that so until next time guys remember to like comment and subscribe let me know what you think let me know if you have a yipper let me know if you how what your um let me know what you think about magnica if you've had some good luck with it if you haven't really cared for it um i like i said the last knife i had with it wasn't the greatest so i am excited to give this one another shot and I'm excited it's an Italian knife, and I'm excited it's a NAFS knife, because I really like the NAFS stuff. I had to pull, like I said, I pulled this one out of my uh, my bag. I've been carrying it in my, uh, my little uh, sling bag every day. I mean, I don't necessarily use it every day, but I carry it in my sling every day. As you can see, I got the NAFS um, strop right here. So, you know, anyways... Take care, guys. Be safe out there. Take care.